Hello friends, today we are going to learn how to add dimensions in SOLIDWORKS The first thing is if you need to make dimension added on screen like that 150 200 500 Okay, 1000 like that values just to go to options system options then sketch enable on screen numeric input on entity check okay and create dimension on only when value is entered make check okay <coughs> the second thing is if you need to make revolved boss and as you know revolved boss is sketched by diameters okay if you need to add diameter all what you will do is adding center line then add your sketch if we made it 200 50 Okay, if you need to add diameters, just delete those at first. Also delete that. Okay, just if you click here, you will find radius. If you need to add diameter, just click on center line. Okay. Again, from that point, he will choose the empty by the way, as he now knows that you will make revolved boss. Okay, here you can add radius, go down, you will add the empty. Okay. <coughs> the next one is how to add horizontal and vertical and angles and radius dimensions first This is vertical dimension. <coughs> Three hundred horizontal dimension, inclined dimension. Here you can add horizontal or vertical or inclined. If you find it, go. To vertical then horizontal then inclined to make it constant on that way just click on right click okay you if you go to any any place it will maintain at inclined position then add 170 if you need to add angle, just click on the first line and the next line, 130. If you need to add the opposite angle, 
you can add it here 150 millimeter uh, degree arc if you select the arc he will add its radius 100. and if you need to select arc from the outer side to that line click shift then outer side then that line okay okay shift the outer side and the line if you need to add arc angle click on shift start point end point then center point he will add angle of the arc okay if you need to add the uh, arc length just shift start point end point arc okay now we learned here how to add vertical horizontal inclined and angle dimensions then we learned how to add arc dimension from radius to outer distance to a line then how to add arc angle and arc length okay <clears throat> let's go to circles if we have two circles 200 and 150 then we need to add the dimensions first if you selected circle it will add diameter okay if you need to add center to center dimension just choose centers let's make it 250 and if you need to add the dimension from the inner side of those circles again shift click here to here and select okay if you need to add the outer ones as we said before shift outer surface to the outer surface then okay here we added all dimensions to circles let's move to spline if you have spline and you need to add its length its length okay just click on spline and he will add its length okay <coughs> again if you need to add spline length just click on it and you will find its length okay now i think we made dimensions to what we need to do the first thing we we made is how to add dimensions on a screen from options sketch enable on a screen dimension then how to add diameters in sketches which which you intend to make revolved posts from them okay by choosing the line and then center line and go down okay then we learned how to add dimensions horizontal vertical angle client arc length arc angle and arc radius and arc distance from the outer side to another line then we there is how to add dimensions to two circles from the inner surface outer surface radius or diameters and center to center dimensions and we learn it at the last how to add length to spline i hope you like the tutorial and see you at the next time
Thank you.